so today is day one. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna vlog these um, this lockdown. I'm gonna vlog what's going on right now. I feel like it's important to rec record this because this is the first time in history anything like this has ever happened. As far as I've been alive, you know, I think the Spanish flu would probably be the next thing compared to this that I wasn't alive for that. And many people that watch this weren't alive for that. So day one, um, Maryland is on lockdown. I can't train my clients, obviously. Um, interstate travel is shut down. But for now, Export Fitness is still open. We get about 45 minutes before the governor of Virginia speaks. And if he decides then to close restaurants and stuff like that down, which I'm hoping he doesn't. I mean, we've had five confirmed cases here. Um, in Fairfax and people have been social distancing, you know, it's definitely been died down. So if they can keep things open where it's like, go at your own risk to the gym, which is 24 hours, use good hygiene and stuff like that. The, the gym keeps cleaning itself, stuff like that. I feel like it would be all right, but who knows what's going to happen. So I'm going to go try to get in whatever workout I can. Um, it's a back shoulders and triceps day. And what I'm going to try to do is train actually a little bit heavier today. Do a little more damage to the muscle because I know that tomorrow is my off day, but Thursday we may have to wind up training from home, which don't have enough weight or anything like that to actually stimulate a muscle. So I'll be doing my, my own lockdown workout at home, which um, honestly, I just don't want to do that. I, it sucks. I don't want to do it. Like to me, training is going to the gym. I feed up other people's energy. Training in my living room with some bands and fucking dumbbells. To me, it's not working out. It's just, it's just how I feel about it. I understand that that's all some people do, but it's not where I came from. It's not what I do. It's not what I enjoy, you know, so... That's enough fucking flap of the gums. Go try to get this work out. So our mailman just came by. His name is Roy. He's awesome. We love our mail guy. He came by to pick up the packages and stuff for GIFT Labs to ship out. And he was like, and the other people. And yesterday I was out. I felt that vibe. It's like a really weird fucking vibe out. It's eerie. It's like, I don't know. It's almost like people are waiting for the end of the world. I mean, honestly, that's what the vibe feels like. It's people are like in a rush. They're they're nervous. They're anxious. They're They're focused on where they need to be and what they need to do. It's really kind of, you know, they're just trying to get off the streets and get home, pretty much. Trying to live a little bit of life before the lockdown happens, which is really fucking a crazy feeling. Especially around here. There's so much traffic all the time. There's so many people. It's so densely populated that it's never easy to get around. Here, Aaron got home like 15 minutes from work last night, which is like normally like an hour to get it home just because of traffic. But it's just so, I mean, the parking lots are empty and shit. It's so fucking weird. So around here, even on the weekends, nothing's empty. I mean, it's fucking busy here all the time, nonstop. There are people fucking, you know, in the middle of the night, there's traffic here. I mean, it's just super busy place to live. And here we are and everything is just fucking wide open. It's so fucking bizarre. But thankfully, export's still popping right now, which we'll see how long this lasts for. But see what we can get done. And then hopefully you can at least just get back done in about 30 minutes or so. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so workout's done. I actually trained pretty heavy. Trained heavier than I thought I could even train today. To I honestly figured, why not? You know, <laughs> what if it's my last workout? What if I could track this fucking thing? I actually, any of you may not know, um, I have a form of asthma. It's called sports asthma. But I also have scarring in my lungs from when I had pneumonia when I was younger. So there's a good possibility if I get this thing, I may not be around. I do have, you know, a compromised lung capacity. And, um... That's not good, you know. So I'm like, fuck it. Let's say this is my last workout in the gym ever. I'm gonna push as hard as I can. It's like, fuck it. I went out on a high note. Like that's where I'm at. You know, I'm just kind of like, I'm very ready to meet my maker if I have to. That's just where I'm at in life. I don't know. I just I feel very confident, very spiritual that I'm okay, no matter what. But um, now I'm gonna finish off an hour, maybe an hour and a half of cardio. <laughs> we just got word that the gym closes tonight at 8 p.m. indefinitely. So I'm like, while well, I'm here. It took me about an hour and a half to work out, which is a little bit longer than I normally work out. Of course, I'm still fasted. Maybe an hour, hour and a half cardio for the hell of it. And then it's over for a while. Man, this is getting fucking weird. All right, so I just went to Wegmans to get a few things that uh, we needed. Some broccoli for Brady, <laughs> a couple other things. And it surprisingly wasn't bad in there. It was stock full of water, plenty of water in there. Food wasn't missing. I mean, there was some stuff that was low, but in general, for the first day of everything shutting down, there's not much panic. That's a good thing. I did notice something very, very strange today. But let me put this up here and see if we can see behind me. And what's really weird is we don't get those chemtrails here in DC. Like we never see those chemtrails. Like we have fighter 
um, jet fighter jets that do maneuvers and shit. We see those things doing maneuvers because there's uh, Catanamo's close to here. Um, you know, and there's other, is it Quantico or Catanamo? I don't know, one's in California, one's here. I always get them confused. But the bottom line is we never see these actual chemtrails here, ever since I lived here. And all of a sudden today, you know, Virginia goes on lockdown, Maryland goes on lockdown, and there's fucking chemtrails all over the sky. That's really fucking weird. I don't know what to make of it, but that's strange as fuck that we actually have chemtrails now. What the fuck? It's weird. And we've got them in front of me too. You can see them very clearly here going from the ground to the sky, like to the clouds, sideways. Chemtrails that we normally don't have. Hey, what do you got? Those are my socks. Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm up here. I see you. Hey. Are those my socks? Uh, what are those? How'd you get those? Mm-hmm. Can I have my socks, please? Even if they're all covered in dog spit, it'd be good. Thank you. All right, guys, we're on day two of lockout. I'm gonna call it lockout, not lockdown, because technically we're not locked into our houses. We're just locked out of the gyms and stuff right now. So it's technically, it's day two of lockout. Now, yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of bummed out. I was actually kind of depressed. Um, I was like, what am I going to do? Like, this is the first time in 44 years of my entire life that I've been locked out of a gym. Like, even when our gyms were closed, I always knew somebody that would let us into the gym. We'd be able to train on holidays, whatever, in the middle of the night if I wanted to train, whatever. There's always somebody that let us in the gym, but now this is whole change, change this whole thing. Like, there are gyms out there that may stay open, but what's happening is they're only open to their members now. They're not taking any additional, like uh, the shop gym, which is open in Manassas, is only open to the members. Like they're not taking any day passes, um, you know, not taking any new membership, stuff like that. They're trying to control the situation and control their environment to make sure that, of course, this thing doesn't spread. So here I am without a gym for the first time. And I just kind of step back and I go, now what? Like, now what? I said, all right, well, this is an opportunity for me. I normally I'm so fucking busy that I don't get to do certain things, right? So actually this could be a positive thing right there's this book that i've been writing about fat loss about diets and fat loss that i've only gotten to the forward <laughs> and i've been trying to do this for over a year don't have time so i'm like fuck i have time to sit down and actually write this book now like that's amazing like now i'm starting to get excited i'm like fuck okay cool yoga i haven't been able to learn any yoga whatsoever like my boy pj black taught me a couple things i haven't had the time to actually sit down and learn i'm like fuck it i can learn yoga now right i'm like damn and i'm like what else could be a positive from this whole thing, right? Well, another positive thing could be the fact that I don't compete anymore, right? So technically, there's no reason for me to like diet down and go through these contest preps and stuff, which I did for every year for 20-something years, because it was always a challenge, right? It's very hard to challenge yourself without a goal, without a, um, a reason to do it, right? Just to do it. It's very hard to do that. Well, what if I could get in better shape in the lockout than I was before the lockout. Like what I could, what if I could come down on some body fat and look a little bit fuller? Like what if I went straight keto, right? I mean, the easiest thing in the world for me to diet to do diet wise is keto. And I'm doing intermittent fasting. I've never combined them together. Why don't I combine intermittent fasting and keto and see what that does for me, right? Run a little experiment, have to come up with a new workout, which let's figure it out, you know? So now I'm like, there's a bunch of positives that could come from this negative, and in the end, it'll just make me better all the way around, you know, as far as I'll learn yoga, <laughs> I've written a book, or written part of a book, whatever, and then gotten in better shape while many people will be getting out of shape because they just give up. The whole idea is not to give up. I'm like, shit, that's where I'm at. Like, I wasn't ready to give up yesterday, but I'm thinking like, well, shit, if this thing goes on for months, how long can I sit around my fucking living room and just watch TV? I can't. Like, I just can't do it. My wife was like, you got to figure out how to train because... Without training, you're fucking, you're just, you're miserable. And I'm like, I know, I know, I gotta figure this out. So I think the first step is to, um, today is actually my day off. It's Wednesday, so I'm gonna actually just do cardio today, which we have an elliptical here. It bothers my knee. I'm gonna try to figure out and see if I can use that elliptical, shifting my foot position, shifting my posture, whatever I can do to try to use that elliptical to see if I can do my cardio on that. Because I can also do cardio twice a day now because I have time. So if I really wanted to get shredded, like fucking sick shredded, by the time this corona thing is up, I can do cardio two times a day if I wanted to. I can do keto, which is really not that hard for me to do. I've already been doing intermittent fasting. I just have to find a way to stimulate 
my muscles to where they would maintain, which is going to be hard to do, but I don't really train heavy anyways, right? So I might be able to get bands that would add up to that resistance that I was using in the gym anyways. So now it's all starting to come together. And I'm like, this is, this is a good thing. Like, this is actually a really good thing. So day two, not really much to report other than just having like an epiphany of positivity, to be honest with you, because there's nothing else we can do, right? We're all in this boat together. We're all trapped together. We're all not trapped, but they're all locked out of our, we're locked out of part of our lives together, right? So, okay, let's, let's see what we can do. Let's put our money where our mouth is. I'm always talking about being positive, turning a negative into a positive. Well, it's time. And it doesn't mean that I didn't have my moments, right? It doesn't mean that I didn't have my moments where I really didn't know what to do. I mean, for myself, you know, it's weird because I can tell clients what to do and motivate them to stay on track and, and help them but I can't do it for myself sometimes. It's the weirdest thing. And that's why I think people, you know, even if you are a coach, sometimes you have a, a trainer, I have, have a coach, stuff like that. And sometimes you just can't do it for yourself. It's the most bizarre thing. It seems like it would be the most easiest thing in the world. But like, I can look at other people and break their things apart, no problem. And look at myself and be like, ah, eh, as long as I'm taking care of them, that's what's important because I care more about other people. But now it's time to try to figure out what to do myself. And I'm sitting here going, John Meadows has had some interesting stuff out there that he's put out. Other people have too about more high intensity type things with bands. And I'm like, fuck it. I mean, it is what it is. We're all in the same boat, right? So it's not like, you know, I think honestly, before coronavirus, if I said, I'm going to stay home and do a band workout, people would be like, Jerry, you're such a fucking loser. You're such a wimp. You don't train hard. You're not hardcore. You're not a bodybuilder anymore. That's what it would come down to, right? But now it's like, that's where we're all at. Some of these people that would make fun of me right now, we're ordering bands online right now. And they saw the mountain dog doing it. So they're like, oh, well, mountain dog's doing it. And I got to do it, right? That makes a lot of sense. Like the, the tides are shifting and everybody's in, in the other person's shoes, so to speak. Meaning like we're all just kind of getting along, right? We're all just kind of getting along and moving along and trying to do the best we can. There's a fucking fly around here. I'm surprised Brady hasn't eaten him yet. He landed right on the fucking camera. Cool. Welcome, fly. You fucking weirdo. So yeah, that's where we're at today on day two of the lockout. And uh, we'll see where this goes. But I think that vlogging this and filming these things day by day, I think it's actually pretty cool. I've seen a few people doing it. Um, and to see what, you know, to look at everybody's lives being all stuck in the same, it's the same position right now. It might be cool to see how different people react to it and how they interact with it and maybe help one another. Like take things from one another's, you know, ideas and stuff like that and apply it to, to our own stuff to just try to lessen the blow of this whole situation, you know? So day two, stupid fly, what the hell? That's what you get for leaving the door open, right, buddy? Day two, not much going on. More of the same of yesterday, but I'm feeling more motivated, more positive, and more upbeat today, which is not really where I was yesterday, to be totally honest with you. Um, knowing the grocery stores are staying open too has actually been a big relief. Knowing that the, the restaurants are actually doing delivery, even if the stores close, I'm like, this... It makes it a lot better than saying there's no food available, there's no supermarkets, there's no gyms, there's no nothing. Sit in your fucking house. It changes that a little bit, which makes you feel a little more positive about the situation. It doesn't mean that it won't change and we'll all go into lockdown. It doesn't mean that at all. But um, for right now, things are okay and we have to live day to day. We can't live about tomorrow or next week or three weeks or six weeks. We have to live for today. We have to get through today and take it one day at a time. That's the only way we're going to get through this. If we start thinking about the possibilities in the future and what may or may not happen as far as how long this thing goes on, that could be pretty overwhelming and fuck us up. So one day at a time, day two, maybe we'll, it takes my day off. So we're going to try that cardio and then uh, just see where we're at from there. So be strong, guys. Be safe. Take care of one another. I'll see you in day three.